Hello, my wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your time zone or any time you are coming across this platform. If it is your first time and you like what you are watching, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications so that you'll be able to know when we upload a new video. Here in Linda's TV show, we react to all forms of videos, local and international, especially what is happening in Nigeria. I want to seize this opportunity to appreciate YouTube for creating this wonderful platform for us to use to disseminate information. At the same time, I am putting a disclaimer that this platform, Linda's TV show, do not in any way promote misleading information, hate speech or violence. I do not like those things, so I will never promote them in my platform. We are here to educate and inform the members of the public what is happening. Nigeria today, we the Southeast Nigeria, we have a seaport and um, the seaport was closed. We don't have international airport. Uh, there's a lot of things going out there you won't understand. But I'm not here to give you a long story. Today, yesterday, the Southeast governors, I mean the Southeast politicians um, went to see a French ambassador. Let me see. I want to reduce the noise here. I, I will have done that before I come live. But anyway, let me continue. Um, they went to the French ambassador because of Simon Ekba. Simon Ekba is, uh, like I, I already explained, the French ambassador was um, invited that he should help them since they are European and uh, Simon Ekpa is in Europe that Simon Ekpa should be they should help them to extradite Simon Ekpa home for punishment because he's fighting for freedom so I'm going to analyze this video with the voice of Simon Ekpa let's continue But I believe that today, that the virtue of the turn of prevent, they should be seeing the end to their criminality. They should be seeing the end to the oppression. They should be seeing the end to the slavery. And they should see the freedom of Biafra at the end. I also told them. I will be the equation they will never solve to Nigeria disintegration. These political juggernauts, these political criminals has been running from pillar to pole, looking for who to engage Simon Ekpa. I told them when they kidnapped Mazen and Bekanu two years over two years ago that they have done the worst mistake. In Nigeria history. Before I let this play, because I'm going, I'm explaining this for those of you who are not Nigerian that are my followers. Um, Mazis, Mazin Namdekano is the leader of the indigenous people of, of Biafra, IPOB. He's the founder. And um, before Mazin Namdekano, there is a man called Uwazurike. And before Uwazurike, there is a man called... Uh, uh, let me just say if you want to know more about this you can always google ojuku was the guy who he was a he was a he was a military man who sit down with nigerian uh, in 19 um uh, in the 60s 1966 1966 1965 1967 he was a soldier he he was the one who leads the indigenous people of biafra to war why did we get to war? We did not just start the war. Ojuku did not start the war. There was uh, a meeting in Ghana. There was a meeting they called Aburi uh, meeting in Ghana that they sit together and say, let us see how we are going to move, move Nigeria forward. Because in 1914, our colonial masters has to bring the people they call Fulani and Aousa people together. There are people called Yoruba together with Igbos. They put us together and say, let us become one Nigeria. But at that time, everybody was like, no, we, don't, we are not together. We don't have the same culture. We are different ethnic. They said, no, you people should be together. After 100 years, 
you people should go on your own. That was in 1914. In the late middle 60s or early 60s, that's when they have a meeting in Aburi that, okay, we should, we should restructure Nigeria. How do we restructure Nigeria? Restructuring Nigeria is like America is in a kind of a restructure mood, as it is. Because in New York, they have their own law in New York. Right? Um, in California, they have their own law. They have their police. Because of our cultural differences, things were not moving well. Up to today, as I speak to you, things were not moving well. I'm just trying to bring you to the past so that you understand where I'm coming from. And up to today, the war is still going on. So, let's listen to Simon Eber. The kidnap of Mazen Namdekano will facilitate Biafra freedom. Because that thing that Mazen Namdekano cannot do, I am going to do it times 20. And I have not started. I want to give you people a gist this evening. Thereafter, these people know that what we are doing is right there. They know that they have lost the faith. I'm going to allow this voice to play how the Igbo elite invited the French ambassador to help them to bring Simon Ekwa down to Nigeria for persecution. People no longer trust them. They know that every Biafra is hoping for a new nation and a new beginning. That new hope lies on the Biafra Republic of Montenegro, of which Simon Ekwa myself is the Prime Minister. They have tried everything to blackmail me to the European Union. It is not working. Every time they make a move, it hit the brick wall. So today, they summoned the French ambassador to Nigeria. They told him, you need to help us and stop Simon Ekba because you are from the European Union. And the French ambassador was like very surprised. What the hell is going on here? Is that why you people invited me? They say yes. But, you know, this boy is doing this and doing that. You will explain and get tired of explaining. You will not explain, tired. No evidence. Do you understand what he's saying? He said they invited the French ambassador to the podium. There were three white men sitting so the, Fre the the french ambassador did not know why they invited him them they start to tell them about simon ekba simon ekba please help us the guy is causing mayhem and all that so let's go on they say this boy is doing this and doing that a french ambassador could not understand what the idiot we are talking about the French ambassadors were confused. Like, what are you talking about? You don't even understand why they are inviting him in the first place to talk about a Finnish citizen. But you know how stupid they are because we have given our voice to the African nation that have risen up against the oppressors. In solidarity, the Niger Republic, Burkina Faso, Mali. They see it as an avenue to invite French ambassador. <laughs> hey! Look at the kind of people. Do you know why they invite the French ambassador? Because Simon Ekwa make a video want to allies with all those Niger Republic, Senegal, Burkina Faso, those freedom fighters that you know what we are one i want to work with you guys so they begin to panic then they went to french ambassador to invite him 
Let's go move on with this video, please. Oh, they, they're calling themselves leaders. The one that they call you, Panyang Wu, which is that fun, she was there. Seated like a hippopotamus. Looking for how to whatever to bring Simon Ekpa to whatever they are thinking, their yeah, illusion. They persuaded the French ambassador. French ambassador was telling them, I don't understand why you people are inviting me here. I don't know what is going on. What is my business with Ekpa? What is my business with Ekpa? The French ambassador told them pump and play. They should go and negotiate with Simon Ekman. <laughs> hmm. That one make the, that one that one close the chapter. French ambassador tell this umu ko ko this political prostitution, political prostitute, political criminals who parade their pot belly in Abuja. All of them right directly to their face go and negotiate with Simon Ekman Simon Ekman have done nothing wrong did you hear that? did you hear that? from the French ambassador French ambassador told them listen that guy has not done nothing wrong he's fighting for freedom go and negotiate with him now country where we say oh my god Nigerian people we be mumu all this propaganda where government they bring for social media and I saw now oh Simon is a criminal who now they cause problem for Nigeria they know they cause problem Mugu make una listen they no go carry this one for news so una no go hear them for Nigerian news I was looking at them and watching them in the mirror. <laughs> I was sitting and watching them in the mirror. At the point, the French ambassador got angry when he noticed that these people want to, whether they want to set him up. He got angry and got up. He has his up. He has up. Leave me alone. I don't know what people are talking about. I have no business with what Samanepa is doing. Samanepa is a Finnish citizen. You people should go and look for a way to go and negotiate with him. He is fighting for the freedom of his people. This is what the French ambassador told these criminals from the Southeast. Did you hear that? I don't tell you, I say, we will they fight for freedom. If we do the bad thing, I know I suppose they're prison. I suppose they're prison. All the freedom fighters, where we they abroad, we suppose don't they prison. We are doing the right thing. Even them, they fought. The French ambassador know their history in French. They know their history. Anyway. Continue shouting, oh, we don't have access to him. We don't he, 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 we don't know how to contact him. Uh, there is no access how to contact And the man tell, tell them, how is that my business? That's Simon Epa. And Did you hear that? The French ambassador tell them, go and negotiate with Simon Epa. He is fighting for the freedom of his people. It is his right. He's done nothing wrong. <laughs> They say they don't know how to contact Simon Epa. They say, how is that my business? As a, as a point, they begin to fear, say, what did they happen, sir? Because how can these people call me because of Simon Epa? Let's move ahead. Simon, go ahead. Though. That he has done nothing wrong. They will come to a Nigerian newspaper and talk rubbish, thinking that me, me you are going to intimidate me you people don't know what is coming i told you 
the more you press this Mazen Namdekano is giving this message, I we are going to release a very powerful rebellion that have never been seen in freedom fighting. I will unleash it on you people. A very dangerous rebellion you have not seen anywhere. It is those who does not know their rights that you keep around. You see, illiteracy has dealt with the Biafra struggle for decades. Yes, those who work with Mazen Namdekanu no know what thing that they do. They don't know what thing that they do. Not be, make I tell you now, Mazin Namdekanu came to this country and run away. Now this country, Mazin Namdekanu is supposed to stay. Do you know why Mazin Namdekanu run away? Now this country, Mazin Namdekanu appeared. Mazin Namdekanu wanted to stay in this country. Not be the government. The government don't give him asylum. Make him stay. But he run away. Because of those, whether they work together, we call themselves, the day with Mazin Namdekanu a long time ago. I swear to God, I know the story. When Mazin Abikanu was here, he was here to stay. They give him, you don't know, even them, they begin to fight each other. Mazin Abikanu, you don't suffer. I say when Mazin Abikanu appeared to stay in Israel, he was here to stay. You know why Mazin Abikanu come out? Sabotua everywhere. He was not trusting anybody. He ran away. You know if he talk and say he not trust them now. All those things where they have what happened for secret, I know them. Why Mazin Namdekanu left to England? You call yourself uh, 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 now we start uh, the, now we start uh, the, this uh, this uh, uh, IPOB with Mazin Namdekanu. You must work. You you must fight for freedom for for one, one million years. Mazin Namdekanu is working with you with, with you people as. DOS and he's still looking for 100 men. I want 100 men. Just 100 men. I'm tired. Now you have seen the 100 men. Simon Epa is the 100 men. Studied in Nigeria or people who studied in, in India. Somebody that was looking. I don't know whether he went to school in India or he just went there for a course. Who doesn't know their left and their right? We have refined professors refined doctors refined nurses refined academicians currently piloting the affair of the biafra government in exam i studied international law did you hear that did you hear just that i studied international law that's what he said he's not just an international law he is a military man He's not just a military man. <laughs> I'm not here to promote violence. Simon Epa is a special reserved military man. Respected and is a Finnish citizen. He's not just a Finnish citizen. He's a politician. Not just a politician. A community leader. You guys don't know who you're dealing with. Simon Epa is even quiet too. Simon Epa is still taking it slowly. I studied, I hold master degree in international law. I brought my experience and my profession to the Biafra struggle. So I stand to defend everything I'm doing anywhere, any day, anytime. I know what I'm doing. And that's Simon, I don't talk on. Make the carriers go ICC. Make the carriers go ICC. Where they know say with we, 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 we have a treaty under United Nations. Abi? Forget about economic community community of West Africa, ECOWAS. All those people are criminals criminals Convert, forget about au african union they are all criminals take us to international criminal court that these people are causing mayhem these people are causing war take us to international 
criminal court, ICC. Mr. Simon, I've said it many times. I want to be included to those who are going to ICC. Let them go and show us because we have evidence. Evidence where soldiers, they go kill people for our state. The evidence is there. Take us there. If we don't go bury in our life for that international court. All the evidence is there. You think they are sleeping? You think ICC is sleeping? Okay. These people begin to mess, mess up. I look at them and I laugh. The more you try to blackmail me, the harder I come on you. So my people, it's come to the extent that the ambassador had to get angry. He stood up from his seat and he left. And I was watching them in the middle. I watched the meeting from the beginning to the end. So in case, because I know they have been asking, they have been wondering how Simon Epa is getting the information. How Simon Epa is knowing everything. I watch you people in the mirror. It is not a secret. <laughs> I don't know which kind of mirror they watch them. They say what you don't know is bigger than you. Yes, what I don't know is bigger than me. And it better make I don't know too much. But you are still you are still on my favor, Simon. Watch them in the mirror. Even if you want to see them, whether they do or moyonyo with their wife, make you they look at <laughs> waiting for Simon. <laughs> you don't know is better and bigger than you there is no hiding place until Biafra come I will be monitoring all of you in the middle so anytime you make any step I have it in my, in my palm and there is nothing you can do no native doctor in this world will stop Biafra from coming you say he said, you know, sometimes I look at these people a lot. You don't know who you are fighting. You don't know who you are fighting. I don't need to remind you how many places you have visited in order to harm Simon Ekpa. Have any of them worked out? Have any of them worked out? The answer is no. The same way, the criminal age of four, was warned not to come to the oracle to do jam, jam against Simon Epa, otherwise he is going to die. He went and contracted somebody, and the person got blind. Today, the person got blind. The man wanted to confess so that he can regain his sight. Age of age of kidnap him because you did not take my warning very very seriously. You don't take my warning for that. I said, before you attack me, go and ask the oracle in the village. I came to this struggle very prepared. Hope was Odema, you are going to lose. You are going to, you are like, you already losing, but just to tell you that you will lose everything. You will lose everything at the end of the day. You have to stop going to ambassadors from the European country. <laughs> they know what freedom is all about. Exactly. You are bringing military to Biafra land to kill on with are killing them. Making sure that nobody kill Biafra and go free. All those military that are coming to Biafra land to kill us, they are dying every day. And they will continue to die. We didn't look for them in Abuja. We did not look for them in their barracks. But very soon, we will begin to visit them in the barracks because because the, they are sleeping and waking up from that barracks in their land that makes them and give them the impetus to come and kill our people and attack our villages so the best defense is attack that is coming very soon and we have confirmed the other day they came with egg. let me before I allow that video to go on the voice note to go on let me explain to you in a freedom fighting it is allowed when you don't try 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 the thing no agree you must carry with one no bro i know they promote violence i'm just telling you that's how it works it worked for south africa 
it worked for a, a lot of countries that got their freedom. When you don't talk, 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 they no agree. You don't talk, 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 you don't try your own propaganda, they do, 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 they think no agree. Me, who am I? I'm supporting the freedom. Whichever, whichever way that Simon is going to bring this suffering to an end, make una bring a more. When you don't try, 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 no gi. Let me tell you something. Go and read books. Go and ask any freedom fighter that if you're fighting for freedom, no ask white man, no, no, no ask a black man. Go and ask Caucasians. Go and ask Caucasians. Like, if somebody is fighting for freedom, does that person need any ammunition? <laughs> he can say yes. He needs. You cannot fight without that because they are coming for you with their own weapon. You have to defend yourself. Let's move ahead, Simon. I know they promote war. I always say it that we don't need war. We don't need war. Those soldiers that are dying, now somebody burned them. Oh. Those Biafrans that are dying, now somebody burned them. Let us sit down on the table. Make we divide that this country. Make everybody carry in Papa's name. Una no agree. Trading is not for every. <laughs> Sorry, you. Advertisement, I beg. Oh, this is another thing playing now. That's another thing. I'll just press another button. Okay, let's go ahead with this. Look at this guy is supporting your enemies. But they don't excuse me, sorry guys. We start, you know, you know, to take charge of, of the affair of the Biafra liberation. Less than a year. Or let me say one and a half year now. Right. Today the person got blind. The man wanted to confess so that he can regain his sight. Okay. For kidnapping for kidnap him. Because you did not take my warning very, very seriously. You did not take my warning very I said, before you attack me, go and ask the oracle in your village. I came to this struggle very prepared. Who pose or them are, you are going to lose. You are going to, you are like you already losing, but just to tell you that you will lose. You know what, you know what, one thing, guys. Please go and follow me on my Twitter. If you want to, if, when I want to see things where they happen for Nigeria. Go and follow me on my Twitter. My Twitter is Travels Vlog. Go and follow me. I go, I go begin to share more of the things. I go begin to share more of the things. Go to, in fact, you don't even need to follow me. Go and follow Simon. Go and follow the Freedom Fighter. When I go, they see the truth waiting they happen. War is going on in Nigeria. Trust me, there's war going on. The kidnapping, the, the, the military, and the Boko Haram, they are killing the military like tissue paper. I'm on Nigeria. I don't know where on a deal. I did not pay. You have to stop going to ambassadors from the European country. They know what freedom is all about. You are bringing military to Biafra land to kill on with and killing them. Making sure that nobody kill Biafra and go free. All those military that are coming to Biafra land to kill us, they are dying every day. And they will continue to die. We didn't look for them in Abuja. Now then they find we us. We did not look for them in their barracks. Now then they come. But very soon, we will begin to visit them in the barracks because, because the, they are sleeping and waking up from that barracks in Biafra land. That makes them and give them the impetus to come and kill our people and attack our villages. So, the best defense is attack. That is coming very soon. Release Mazin Nam the Kanu. Let us dialogue. <laughs> I no go agree. I no go agree. Now make trouble at the tier for Baku. 
I no go agree. I no go agree. Now I make trust at the tear for bag. <laughs> I've been saying this. I don't promote violence. I hate war. I hate war. I've never been won. I've never won before. They they burn us after the war. Long time, many years before, after the war, now they burn us. I never want to witness one. We have seen wars on social platform, on videos, Rwanda war, Liberia, uh, 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 Somalia, Afghanistan. We have seen all those things. It's not a good thing to write from about. Release Mas in Namdekanu. You have one hands down in your court. Compensate him, release him, and negotiate with us. Not be giant that they take win war. Not be I get jet, I get jet. Now that they take win war. Now tactics, tactics. Now that they take win war. Giant, if you big. Remember Goliath and David. <laughs> Who went down? Oh, let's talk about Samson. Thank you so much for sticking to this video to the end. Like I said before, now it's time for us to go to the comment section to air our mind and our opinion. Say what you think about this video and this platform. Do it constructively. Share this video. Like, subscribe, and also continue to watch Linda's TV show because this is the home of news. Until I see you again in my next video. Remain blessed. For now, I would say bye-bye.